Great. I want to quickly talk with you about uh, how the function will work on the e-commerce platform. So you'll see here, if we look in the inventory, we have our dashboard. We'll see all our incoming products. We'll see our internal transfers. We'll see products that have to be printed and we'll see our delivery orders. You'll see an in inventory control products. We look at this t-shirt for instance. In the inventory, there's uh, a route now here called print. So the print route is going to be something that is controlled on the front end by the customer of yours. So the customer will just define whether or not they want to have a custom print. If they check the box, then it will turn the route on in the back end. If they don't, then it will just process this as a delivery order. The way it works is as follows. If we go to sales, let's say create a sale order. Customer puts an order in on the front end. Uh, we'll do for Tim Ferriss. They check the box. They want to have this t-shirt printed. The order comes in. We'll see instantly. There's two steps associated with the processing of this t-shirt. From an inventory standpoint, the folks automatically see in the in the back end that there's one now to print. They'll open it up, they'll see their order for Tim Ferriss generated at 533, it's 534. Open it, here we go. They'll see, okay, we have this t-shirt to print. We can capture the, uh, the details of this t-shirt via like a PDF file or, um, or a Excel sheet. It depends on how you wanna work that. But when they, what happens is they validate this. Once it's done being printed, then the folks in the, uh, Delivery department, they'll see their dashboard, open it, they'll see the order for Tim Ferriss is available, set order 12, which is what we just did down here. They'll be able to then process the delivery and validate it. And it'll move that product out the door to the end location of the customer, from the print to the customer. So uh, that's how the functionality will work. If you have multiple products, um, then it will only send the t-shirt through. It'll create two uh, delivery receipts and then it will eventually combine those two receipts in once it hits the delivery tab. And assuming all items are available, it will move them out. If only one item is available, such as the t-shirt that was printed and the other item is not available, then you'll be able to create a back order and uh, create another inventory receipt, or excuse me, an inventory delivery for the item which is on back order and process the product which is currently available uh, and you'll be able to send that out. So that's how the functionality will work. Let me know if you have any questions or if anything is unclear.